Hey guys, Dizzy here, and we have another. Uh, uh. Hey guys, Dizzy here, and today we have another episode of After Effects Tutorial Tuesday. Today we're going to be going over the flower effect, which I used in the scream edit where the scream got hit. Um, for this tutorial, you will need the trap code particular plugin. Okay, so. Once you've got your clip and everything sorted out, you want to type in the effects, smoke, and then come down to the trap code HD presets and come down to the one with Zard at the end and just drag that. Wait one sec. Once you've got that, you just want to make a new layer. Want to make a new solid. And then drag smoke Zard from the trap code HD presets onto the solid and then just drop down from the solid and come to particular go to emitter and you'll see these keyframes okay so what you want to do is you want to find the bit like the duration of where you want the flowers I can't they look like flowers to me so I, what I want to do is I want to kind of act the flowers as a bullet coming across and hitting them in the chest so I'm gonna start the first keyframe about here and for some reason just gonna have to drag these try and find the last keyframe alright so there's the last keyframe so I want it to last for about Alright, so basically all you do is you just go through and you just have to, it's quite annoying, but you have to follow the bullet trajectory, so just correct it, because it's kind of, it's like um, emitting from the source, you've got to correct it. You can also act this as a missile, or if you're editing a COD clip, when you zoom in on the scope, the black scope, you can um, make the flowers or whatever go around the scope, which looks pretty nice. So anyway, when once once I'm on the shoulder, the shoulder, I just want to kind of clump them for a bit because it's kind of like the impact. So just do that for a little while. Um, trying to think what else you can use this effect for. I kind of use it for, like, when there's a build-up. It's kind of nice for a build-up. It's kind of something to watch because sometimes you kind of get sick of just seeing Twixter on a scope. So this is going to be a massive build-up of flowers. And then when he falls, it's going to be a release. Which looks quite nice, and this is this this clip is from um, <coughs> the IRL contest free. So if you want to download that, just go to that video. Yeah, 60 frames a second. <coughs> okay, so now we've got big release. I'm just going to start letting it be free. Just kind of go, <coughs> unless you want it to kind of go through the body, and then just, and there may be more than one. Um, thing, so just drag them, drag them away. Um, I hope you guys liked the editing contest, which was the results were yesterday. We had some pretty sick entries. Um, and if you're interested in joining, then the next contest will be at 4K, but if you can't wait, I'm trying to think, I'm thinking of a project at the minute, which I'm going to release to you guys in a bit, just need to get the members um, see if they like it because it's kind of key that they like it which will there'll be another way if you guys can join orb because I know um, there's only like a top three who can join okay so and if you've got the actions essentials pack from video copilot oh, you can um, 
add like loads of different stuff to this clip like blood splatter um, there's, there's loads so once you've pretty much done all this that's it I know it's kind of a, a hassle but the end result will look really nice And uh, this can be a bit of a faff, like to con to um, because you kind of want it to fade away, don't you? But kind of just stays, and I'm not too confident with this effect. But what I do is I just go to um, oh my god, what's it? If you just go down to the um visibility. And just keyframe where you want it to like vanish. Just go down to fair vanish, fade start, start fade, and near fade, and then where you want it to go, just put them all to zero. That's what I do. It's it's not a smooth fade, but uh, it's all right. So as you see. See, I need to fix that. You can see like a particle go shoots across, which I don't want. I don't know why it's doing that. All right, so that's basically it. I'll see, I'll see if I can experiment with the with the transform opacity. So I kind of want it to vanish about. Not here, so I'll just keyframe. See if it works. Yeah, yeah, there we go, there we go. That's nice. So I just go to the transform, it looks better that way. Yeah, okay, that's good. So I'll just re pre render that for you guys. Shame for that, um, that one which comes in front of the screen, but just play around with it. And that's the flower effect from trap code particular plugin okay so if you've got any requests for next week um, comment below and if you did use this effect video response it I'd love to see uh, see you guys